So this is remotely controllable LED project, uh, which consists of Raspberry Pi Zero, um, ESP8266 module, in this case this is a D1 Mini, uh, some LEDs, this is dual LED strip, and the dashboard, which is sitting on Raspberry Pi Zero. So let's have a look what it actually does. So we have two sliders and we can control the brightness of the LEDs. So this is the warm one and this is the cold one. And also we can mix them together. So let's switch off the studio lighting. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so let's have a look how to put this project all together. Parts needed for this project are LED power strip, in my case it's dual LED power strip, Raspberry Pi Zero to work as a Wi-Fi access point and it will be running Node Red server, ESP8 266 module, in my case it's Wemos D1 Mini, couple of 270 ohm resistors, couple of MOSFETs which will be able to cope with at least 24 volts and 6 amp current, voltage reducer so we can power ESP module from the 24 volt power supply. 24 volt 6 amp power supply and finally since ESP module runs on 3.3 volt signals we will also need a level converter. First of all we will be setting up Raspberry Pi controller and we will start off by installing MQTT server and I will be speeding up the bits which take the longest. Next we will be installing node red server. Once node red is installed, we will need to enable node red auto start and we will need to install node red dashboard. To install the dashboard, you need to find and go to Node-RED application directory. If you install it as a standard user, user it will be under dot .node-red in your home folder. Once Node-RED setup is finished, it's time to set up Raspberry Point as Wi-Fi access point. So we need to install uh, DHCP software and the AP software. There are quite a few tutorials out on the internet, so I will just quickly skimp over what I did. Once DHCP and AP software is finished installing, we will need to configure static IP for Raspberry Pi. I will be using 192.168.5.0 range. Next we will configure DHCP range, in my case I use 
between 100 and 200. So first 100 IPs can be used as static IPs. Now we will need to configure Wi-Fi access point settings, things like what type of security it will be using, the AP name and the AP password. Once that is done, we will need to set the software to use this configuration file. So this is an optional step, but I decided to install Nginx and set it up as a proxy so I can open Node-RED on port 80. Once the install is finished, I will quickly go through the configuration. As I just discovered that my original config actually doesn't work very good because after the reboots, because node red takes too long to start up, um, Nginx fails to start the proxy. So a few things we need to add to the config file are resolver, which goes to the local host and is valid for 30 seconds and then the actual server proxy thing is here and here what we are doing we are setting up upstream variable which points at node red and then we are using that variable as a, a proxy pass thing now let's get on with ESP flashing and configuring. So I'm using D1 mini which got 4 megabytes of memory and that's the configuration or should I say uh, firmware file I am using. Okay let's have a look at the schematics which actually controls the LED strip. We have power supply coming in, let's go full screen, and which then is powering the voltage reducer, which in turn is powering the ESP module. Then the positive 24 volts is going to the 24 volt LED strip. Uh, these two represent the two LEDs on the strip, the warm and the white. Uh, then we have, where is it, uh, level converter, which on the low side is connected to 3.3 volts from the ESP module, and on the high side it's connected to the 5 volts. And then we have connected pins D1 and D2 on the TX and RX on a low side. And on a high side, there are TX and RX going to the MOSFET with 220 ohm resistor in between. The middle pin of the MOSFET is connected to the negative end on the LED strips. And the third pin is connected to the ground. So now let's have a look at the actual ESP module configuration, the EZSP firmware. So if we go to the config, we can see the controller, uh, the, basically the Raspberry Pi uh, access point name and password, and I'm using the static IP 
in this case it's allowing the range of the Wi-Fi access point and static IP address setup. Then if we go to the controllers I have set up MQTT. It's not necessary but there is a thing there is a reason why I've done it. And then let's have a look at the hardware side. So the pins D1 and D2 are actually GPOs 4 and 5 on the ESP module and they are set to low. And the reason for that is when, when the board starts up we want a low signal to go out so the LEDs don't switch on. Uh, just for troubleshooting purposes I also set up D4 which is LED to be on. Before we have a look at the Node-RED setup, uh, just to let you know, you can actually control the values by using the URLs. So if you use your ESP uh, IP address, control, and then pins 4, the lowest value is 0, and the highest is 1024. And on a pin 5, the same thing again. So let's have a look at the node red setup. So we have a slider which is actually from the node red dashboard section, which we installed separately. Uh, so that's the slider. In a slider, we have values set from 0 to 1024 with one step. And there are two options. It was working with the continuously while sliding, which means as you drag the slider, it will send the value straight away. But this just, it wasn't very, very good. So I just went with the only on release. Then we have the gouge, which is the value here, which again ranges from. 0 to 1024 so we can see how far how much power it's been given then let's have a look and then the last thing we have is ESP request and this is where you would need to change the IP address of the ESP module and as we can see here it's the pin 4 and the payload, payload, and on the other one we have pin 5 and the payload. And then what else I did was this. Originally it was sending device uptime, but it looks like it just sends connected as long as the connection to ESP module is there, which is good enough. And that's done with this. So this is. I think it's to, to, to where is it? M2 MQTT in, and then on the on the outside it is just showing the value. Label is device uptime, and then the value. I will be including the full config file somewhere in description. To access the dashboard, you can go to this drop down menu and just click on dashboard, and then there is a little icon which sends you to the dashboard menu. And that is it for this video. And it was absolute pain in ass building this project. Thank you for watching.